This is the first in a series of three videos covering hybrid vehicle servicing, tools and repairs. In this video we're covering the tools used on hybrid and electric vehicles. Many garages and technicians still shy away from working on this type of vehicle. But with the correct training and tools, there's no reason why you can't work on them. Let's examine hazard versus risk. There is enough electrical energy in the high voltage battery to injure or electrocute a person. Can this be brought down to a level where it's safe to proceed with a service operation or repair? The answer is yes, as long as the correct equipment is used. The equipment required is affordable and available. And with the correct equipment, all servicing and repair work is well within the scope of suitably qualified technicians. Firstly, an exclusion zone will need to be set up for the vehicle. The RWSB kit is designed for this. It warns that a vehicle containing high voltage is being worked on and not to enter the area. It should also ensure that the technician is not disturbed while carrying out his work. Then suitable signage such as the HVSA4 needs to be affixed to the working area, warning of high voltage. The vehicle keys and the vehicle itself need warning signs to be affixed. The hybrid tag should be fixed to the keys to signal they're not to be moved or used during the repair or service process. And hybrid sign notices need to be placed on the vehicle, warning of high voltage being present. HVG1000 Class 0 electrician's gloves are required at all times when working on high voltage systems. These are manufactured and tested to EN60903 standard. A GT117 pneumatic glove tester is required for pressure testing the electrician's high voltage gloves each time they are used. An HVM17KO2 electrician's insulated mat is the next line of defence for safe working. This rubber mat is manufactured and tested to EN61111 standards and is rated at 17 kilovolts. The TA320 Category 3 multimeter is an essential piece of equipment when working on high voltage vehicles. It's required to check for the absence of high voltage after the high voltage battery has been isolated. Once the high voltage risk has been isolated to the battery, the rest of the vehicle is safe to work on. It's good practice to always use VDE approved tools when working on any part of a high voltage system, even if there's no high voltage present. This ensures the safety of the technician in the event of a fault in the isolation system or incorrect isolation. The HRP45 rescue pole is a wise investment to ensure that in the case of an accident, the casualty can be safely removed from the electrical supply. There are three videos in the Sealy Hybrid series. Number one is what tools you require. Number two is servicing that can be carried out without isolating the battery. And number three is battery isolation on hybrid vehicles. New videos are added all the time, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be kept updated.